Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackson, you're watching Fish Flicks. And uh, today we're unboxing more dolls again. Very excited about today's video. I've been gathering the products for quite some time now. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six. Now, we are gonna be unboxing vintage 90s Disney Barbies. Some of these I actually had as a child and I'm very excited to get into the nostalgia of it all. Let's start with our first gal. It is gonna be Miss Belle from Beauty and the Beast. And she is from 1991. It's the year that I was born. <laughs> this is one of the ones that I had. This always happens. I never remember the doll themselves, even though she is really freaking cute. But I remember the dress. I remember this like shiny gold material with this tool and then the little sparkles. We'll get into it, but um, which honestly looks nothing like her dress in the movie, but whatever. So yeah, packaging is very cute. Oh, so on the back you can see the beast. I do not have beast, but you can get him as well. A lot of these that I have, I could tell were from like this, not really the same collection, but right around the same time because they all have these little twinkle details. Let's get it open. So yeah, this doll is 30 years old, people. And look, I remembered freaking scissors. Flat scar. It's gonna, oh, okay. Not really sure how I'm supposed to get in here, but I don't get it. Okay, things are happening. Oh, okay. So the side just comes out. And we can now, I believe, pull her on out. Oh. She has this thing on the back. Disney classics, something special just for you. So it shows, I guess, other girls from this collection here. Here's Miss Belle, who we have today. They got Aurora and they got Cinder Umbrella. Maybe we have some of them with us here today. Maybe we don't. So here's her with her little panel. And uh, there's not really a ton going on back here. So I'm just gonna kind of snip. We're gonna see if we can pull her out. I really think that's all that's holding her in. So we're gonna try. Period. Woo, look at that. She came right on out. Here she is. I love the little twinkles in the eyes. That's a cute little touch. The hair does not make a whole lot of sense to me. None of this reads as bell hair to me. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but it's cute. But let's get into this dress, people. See, I did vaguely remember this. It is, like I said earlier, this metallic gold material all the way down. It's pretty thin. And then she has these like arm sleeves that are the same material so you can like slip on and off. She's got these golden ruffles and then this kind of rouged ruffly moment around her waist that kind of tapers down in the back. The, the ruffles here, the tool has this like sparkle detail kind of all throughout, which I think is really cute. So some of these come with alternative outfits and she is one of them. So yeah, we got her little like village outfit from the beginning of the movie and it has a detachable apron. So both the apron and then like the sleeves have that little twinkle detail as well, which is cute. A little blue ribbon so we can put it in our hair if we wanted to. She comes with classic 90s Barbies accessories, which include, but are not limited to, oh shit, there's three. A brush, hers is this pretty powder blue. And then little heels. She can white heels, which makes no freaking sense whatsoever. I mean, it makes sense with this look, but it don't make sense with this look. White heels, get it together. She has classic 90s Barbie mobility. Her head can, you know, do all the things. Um, her arms can just go up and down like so. She can sit, she does have the turn waist, and then her legs do have the snap mechanism in there. All right, so that's been Miss Belle. Let's move on. Next up, we have Miss Cinderella, who is also from 1991. Um, I do believe these are from like the same collection, seeing as the boxes are pretty much almost exactly the same, except hers has Cinderella stuff on it. So it's first edition of the little, little golden book inside. <gasps> There's a book, a little book. I'm obsessed with that. I used to like have like the actual books as a kid. It was like a miniature book. Okay. Oh, and on the back we have Prince Charming. Apparently you can get the other dolls that have her little like outfit from the beginning of the movie. And then the dress that she made. And we got the stepmother and fairy godmother. 
It says, ball gown changes into wedding gown. That's fun. Again, this one, the tape looks like it's kind of like already coming up. So I'm just gonna open it from the sign here. Flip her out. Period. Here she is. Very cute. Get her on out, people. I did not have Cinderella, I don't think. Okay. Right off the bat, her rubber band that's holding her hair together is like disintegrating. And yeah, she has a totally different face mold from Miss Belle. Um, her mouth is like kind of cracked open where you can see her teeth a little bit. And she does have little twinkles in her eyes too. She's got these little stud earrings. She's got her little headband. She's wearing her black ribbon little choka. Her dress is not all one piece like Belle's was. This like ruffly shoulder moment is actually attached to, I'm not gonna take it all the way off, I'll just show you. It's attached to like a white top underneath that has the sparkles on it. So that I'm pretty sure that's like the wedding dress. And then the skirt is also the blue satiny material and it has the twinkles on it, but you can take it off and reverse it and it's white on the other side with tulle. And then she's got some like opera glove moment. These white ones, very cute. So she comes with her veil, some kind of tulle material, and it's got this little elastic. So you can just put it around her head. Her brush, excuse me, Evelyn, no. Um, so her brush is really freaking cute. It's uh, clear, but it's got silver glitter in it. Love glitter. We're all about glitter in this household. And then look, her shoes are the exact same. They're clear with glitter, I guess, to represent the glass slippers. So cute, love that. And last but not least, we got the little, little book. Look at that, it's got like scenes from the movie in it. Uh, iconic, and it's got like the story as well. That is so cute, obsessed with that, love it. So that's been it for Miss Cinderella, let's move on. Next up, we have Miss Jasmine, and she is from 1992. I am probably most excited about this one because I totally had this one. Everything about this I remember vividly. The outfits, the shoes, her earrings, her hair, like I remember everything about this. Loved it, obsessed. Um, but that's from 1992 and so she includes palace costume and jeweled headband which is right here. In the back you can see kind of everything else you can get. You can get Aladdin and then everything, all the other characters are kind of like plush. So we got Genie, um, the side guy, Naboo, what was the tiger thing? Raja. Forgot about that. I didn't get any of them. I just had Miss John's one here. So this is a Disney Princess video. Okay, so this box is different. It's weird. It's like the same shape, but opens completely differently. Completely differently? Completely different. I don't know. It just goes flat. Then it goes here. I can probably just pull her out. Yeah. Look at her. Look at her. So cute. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get her out. Okay, all right. Period. So yeah, this is probably out of all of them, the one I remember the most. So here she is. She's so freaking pretty. She's got these super long black hair. Her rubber band right here snapped. I think she had two. There was one right there and one right there and they both snapped. She's got her iconic kind of like teal outfit with um, her little top. Oh, this you know, gold choka deal necklace, and then these poofy pants, and they have the sparkles all over. That's what I like remember about these, this outfit is the sparkles, have the gold twinkle sparkles kind of all over the outfit. And then um, her earrings are like molded to her ears, like to the whole head mold. She's got this headband with this big old pretty jewel on it. She comes with a brush that is the same color as her outfit. And then her little shoes are adorable. They're her little flats with like the curled toe. Ah, so cute. And this is her other outfit. It's super cute. I might put her in that later, but it's purple. It's all different purple tones. It's got this like holographic purple material here. And it's also around the bottom. And it's got a jewel here, these like sheer sleeves and it's all trimmed with gold. And then it also comes with another headband that matches the jewel right there. So cute! Oh my God. Yeah, that's been Miss Jasmine. Let's move on. Next up, we have Miss Snow White and she is from also 1992. It's very similar packaging to that one. I love the, the packaging on this one. It's got this really pretty watercolor kind of like background moment. It's even back there. 
Um, the plastic here has yellowed. And so it says here, her gown turns into a village dress like in the movie. On the back, it shows her. And we got some of the Seven Dwarfs. I actually have seen these out and about, um, like in thrift stores and stuff, but I haven't gotten them. Maybe I will now. Um, they all have the little twinkles on them also. It's so cute. Look how they tie all together. Yeah, let's get her up and down. Ah. Oh my god, yeah. Look at all the colors. You couldn't even see through that yellow thing. Look at all these colors. Love the background here. She comes with a little book also. Love that. Evelyn? Evelyn, what do you think you're doing? No, you can't just lay here. She's just laying down. You need to get down. Okay, thank you. Oh, okay. Period. Oh. Here's Miss Snow. Miss Snow White. She's pretty cute. I like how they made her face kind of look like it did in the, the cartoon. You know, because her face was a little, a little funny. They kind of did a good job. She's got little twinkles in her eyes. Her hair is cute. And let's get into the look here. So she's got her little red bow. She's got her little cape. And this collar, it is like a iridescent pink, almost. And uh, it's attached to the cape. And then she's got her little dress here, which is the sleeves. These little details are pink on here. I thought they were white in the movie. Maybe they were pink, I'm not sure. And then she's got her little blue swap and then this big poofy bottom. And it's like a satiny material underneath. And then the tool on top with the twinkle details. I hope y'all can see the twinkles, surely you can. So this does reveal to her, you know, village look so you can basically like pull these sleeves off and it's just the white little poofies right here. Oh, and you can take the cape off, obviously. And the bottom tears away in the back and reveals the like tattered little, it's got like holes and stuff like that. We're gonna leave her in the gown, cause duh. She comes with a little yellow brush, love that. And then she comes with little white shoes, but hers have little tiny bows on them. Right. And then she is one of the ones that also comes with a book. Look at that little tiny book. Yeah, it's got little images from the movie in it. Cute. Okay. Well, that's my Miss Snow Quiet. Let's move on. We got two more. So we're jumping ahead in the 90s a little bit. And this one is from, let me see, 1995. Next up, we have Miss Pocahontas. And like I said, she's from uh, 1995. I tried my hardest to find just like a her and her original outfit and everything. I didn't really find one that I liked. But this one, her face is really cute. So this is actually a this is color splash, color splash hair Pocahontas. So it's her classic outfit, but it's fashioned into like a bathing suit moment. And it's kind of more like aqua blues and stuff like and kind of teals. And she has little charms here. But like her face was really, is, it's really pretty. It's got some like pretty makeup. So I was like, I'm doing this one. On the back here, it shows that her hair goes, it's like purple and then it goes to like a little bit of teal. It's got some other people here. Can you go? No, she just wants to hang out. Come on, get down, thank you. Yep, perf. Okay, so she's got a little brush. It just almost fell out, but it's like a pretty like teal color. Oh, and her necklace. It has fallen. No! She's got the weird hair thing. Now we're getting into that era, I guess. And she's got a tab. Frick! Whoever invented these tabs needs to go to freaking hell. And this hair thing. Like, what is this hair contraption? They got her, like, basically sewn in. Okay. All right. That was a lot. Okay. So yeah, for a second, I was like, I don't see any streaks. She does. She has a big old chunk right here she's very pretty though like i was saying look at her face look at her face she's got some like kind of a blue and purple like shadow moment love it and then this bathing suit is like a one piece it's kind of like a felty material which is weird that's a weird choice for like a bathing suit but whatever um and it's got these little like leaf charms hanging from it as you know i love swimsuit moment with dolls so that was perfect all right shall we try the hair my neighbors have now decided to blast music in the middle of the day. Whatever. All right, so we're going deaf. I got the, the basically the streaks part. It is changing. The 
totally is like an aqua blue now. And there's pink. So annoying, whatever. But look, there's like pink. There's totally pink now. And aqua blue. That's fun. Okay. Well, that's been Miss Color Splash Hair Pocahontas from 1995. Fabulous. Let's move on. We got one more. So last but not least, we have Miss Ariel. And she's from 1997. So I had a lot of Ariel dolls growing up. So I'm not even sure if I had this one, but this one looks really familiar. On the back here, it shows you can take her fin off and there's like a little, just like a bathing suit bottom there. And that is like super ringing a bell. I feel like I had one that did that. Um, it shows here you can get Prince Eric and the dog. You can get her like little pink princess outfit from when she goes to the castle. And then the wedding outfit with Prince Eric and a little flounza. Ariel was my favorite growing up. And then it was like Jasmine. And then, I don't know, the rest of them were just like, I was like, cool, but Jasmine, Ariel, they were my girls. So yeah, I totally had that Jasmine and I'm pretty sure I had this Ariel. You can play with Ariel two ways. Pretty mermaid tail, stylish swimsuit. Yep. Easy peasy. So here's Miss Ariel. She's very pretty. She's got her classic red hair. I feel like it could be a little bit longer, but that's just me. Um, her, this whole bang moment is gelled. Gelled for the gods. She has a totally different like face mold from all these other ones. I'd say her and Jasmine, they have like the biggest eyes. Everyone else has like kind of normal eyes, but hers are huge. She's got her little purple top. I mean, it's no shells, but like, it's whatever. It's a cute little, like, I like that kind of iridescent top. Um, her tail's really pretty too. It's real shiny, kind of looks wet. And then her fins are also the same kind of material as this, like a crinkly, super, like, kind of holographic material. Oh, and then she moves a little bit differently. So her head does the same stuff, but her arms can go out to the side. You know, that kind of gig. And then everything else is the same. So yeah, I think we take her, tail off. Yeah, she's got little purple bathing suit bottoms underneath. And yeah, she does not twist. She can sit and her knees can bend. That's about it. Cute. I'm not gonna take it all the way off because I'm sure this is a to get back on. And then the only thing she came with was a brush. And it's kind of like a, it's a white, but it's like a pearlescent white. It's really pretty. Like pearls, love that. Yeah, like all this is super like hitting a memory thing in my brain. I'm gonna, I don't even know what I just said. But this is like, I'm pretty sure I had this one. I'm just positive. All right, well, that's it for this video. But thank you so much for watching. Thanks for tagging along for this nostalgic journey of mine with these 90s Disney dolls. Yeah, catch me here again soon with another unboxing video or a movie video. I'm gonna try to squeeze in some movie videos soon. You can catch me on Instagram at underscore fishwhiskers underscore. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Okay, bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye.